split second between life and death. This is all caught on camera. You got to see this for yourself because the sea was angry this day, my friends. The video from Northern News Now, Chris Carlson fishing in Grand Marais. He says he heard a yell. Three people were walking to the lighthouse and watch what happens right there. You see the wave right there. Wave slammed and washed ashore. And guess what? There were only two people left. One of them like swept away. Lake Superior. Lake Superior. On Lake Superior. They the water told a story, quietly at first. Across long months and under shifting skies, a silent series of temperature readings began to shift across the upper reaches of Lake Superior. This is the lake of legends, deep, frigid, unyielding. Generations have known it as a vast inland sea, ruler of its climate. A place where cold defines not just the seasons, but the culture and survival of everything that touches its shorelines. Enduring legacy. And yet the numbers whispered of change that defied expectation. Readings meticulously tracked and cross-checked by researchers, began to drift higher, slipping farther above historic averages with each passing year. By winter forecasts for upcoming seasons, a clear and dramatic pattern had emerged. Beneath the placid surface, something fundamental was shifting. Models that had charted Superior's moods for decades found themselves at odds with reality. Model failure. The trend is unmistakable. Lake Superior, for so long the coldest and deepest of the Great Lakes, is heating up faster than almost any other freshwater body on the planet. Alarming acceleration. What once moved in slow cycles has become urgent. The forces of global heating, driven mainly by fossil fuel emissions, human fingerprint, now reshaping even this most resilient of aquatic frontiers. Still, temperature alone does not command drama. Something else, deeper and more startling, would emerge from beneath these warming waters. As measurements approached record highs, Experts descended on Superior's shores, drawn by whispers of strange conditions and unexpected discoveries below. What was unfolding beneath the surface of the world's greatest freshwater lake? Would this gathering heat reveal merely numbers? Or would it expose secrets no model could have anticipated? Keep listening as we uncover what emerged from beneath Lake Superior's warming depths and why it left experts reeling. Chapter 1 A Lake Unmoored When Temperature Records Tumble the story of Lake Superior's transformation is told through a patient accumulation of data, thousands of measurements gathered by buoys, research vessels, and satellites. Dr. J. A. Austin, a physical limnologist at the University of Minnesota Duluth, who has studied Lake Superior for decades, was among the first to recognize that the lake's long-trusted seasonal rhythm was beginning to break from historical patterns. For years, instruments confirmed the familiar cycle, brutally cold winters, slow warming through summer, and rapid refreezing as autumn faded. But over the past decade, and with striking acceleration in recent years, that pattern bent in a new and unsettling direction. At first the changes were subtle, then they became impossible to ignore. A global analysis of more than 200 lakes, co-led by freshwater ecologist Dr. Catherine M. O'Reilly, delivered a jarring conclusion. Lake Superior ranks among the fastest warming large lakes on Earth. Since comprehensive monitoring began, its average surface temperature has risen by 0.61 degrees Celsius, a seemingly modest number that, for a lake of this size, represents an immense accumulation of heat energy. What sets Superior apart is not only the warming itself, but the intensity of its heat waves. Their strength has increased by 258%, extreme amplification. According to Austin, these are no longer rare anomalies, but recurring events that fundamentally challenge the idea that large, deep lakes change slowly and predictably. This added heat does not remain confined to the surface. As warming periods stretch longer into spring and autumn, the lake's stratification, the layering of warm water above colder, denser depths, becomes stronger and more persistent, locked layers. That disrupts the normal seasonal mixing that delivers oxygen and nutrients throughout the water column. In practical terms, it alters everything from plankton productivity to fish habitat, reshaping food webs that evolved over thousands of years. The loss of ice cover is another critical signal. Lake Superior now freezes later, thaws earlier, and in some winters barely freezes at all, vanishing shield. Ice once acted as a protective lid, limiting evaporation and shielding the lake from winter storms. Without it, Superior absorbs more solar energy and loses more water to the atmosphere, reinforcing a feedback loop that accelerates warming even further runaway cycle. For scientists, these shifts raise urgent questions. How resilient is the world's largest freshwater lake by surface area? 
And if a system as vast and historically stable as Lake Superior can change this quickly, what does that imply for freshwater systems everywhere? Chapter 2 Beneath the calm, tracking instability and uncertainty. As Superior's temperatures rose, an undercurrent of concern swept through the scientific community. Warmer lakes are not just a matter of degrees. They are engines of instability, disrupting cycles both above and below their surfaces. The first signs manifested in the weather itself, early symptoms. In past years, frigid autumns and robust winter ice had acted like anchors, trapping storms and modulating the cold season's ferocity. But now, as readings surged and open water lingered later into November and December, extended exposure, a new breed of atmospheric volatility took hold. Volatile shift. Warmer water heading into the cold season fuels instability. Meteorologists have sounded the alert. Superior's anomalous warmth primes the engines for stronger-than-normal lake effect storms. With each passing week of exposed, above-average surface temperature, the risk grows. The air above the lake is now frequently destabilized, leading to bands of intense snowfall that slam into shoreline communities, sometimes in sudden, blinding bursts. These events are not just weather stories. They are direct consequences of Superior's thermal evolution, cause and effect. The classic lake effect scenario has been dialed up. Snow squalls that once arrived predictably now swing harder, with greater moisture content and increased wind intensity. Local residents describe the change as a sharpening of the lake's moods, more extremes, less predictability, shifting temperament. Yet it is below the surface where the shocks have been most profound. Hidden impacts. Warmer top layers linger throughout the year. In the past, spring would trigger a thorough mixing of warm and cold, helped by the breakup and sinking of winter ice. But as ice cover becomes thinner and shorter lived, this cleansing churn weakens. Stratification increases. Warm, oxygen-rich surface layers remain separated from colder, oxygen-hungry depths, throwing delicate chemical and biological balances into flux. Imbalanced layers. The emerging result is a zone of uncertainty, an underwater environment where established cycles break down and new, sometimes abrupt, transitions emerge unstable state. Researchers, probing with submersibles and remote sensors, began to report changes. Signs of shifting plankton communities, altered fish behavior, and declines in dissolved oxygen. Like faint distress calls, these signals hint at deeper changes brewing beneath Lake Superior's calm exterior. The pace of disruption only increased. Patterns sketched out over decades of sampling grew unreliable. Scientists who once described the system as resilient and slow to change now speak in urgent tones about tipping points and feedback loops. The underlying message was clear. The lake is not just warming, it is destabilizing. Chapter 3 Once-in-a-lifetime extremes become the new norm. The shocks of these discoveries echo outward, but this is no isolated event. Researchers expanding their survey across the lake and comparing results to sister bodies in the Great Lakes chain paint a broader pattern. Lake Superior, the Great Northern Reservoir, is not the only lake in upheaval, but its changes are among the most dramatic. It's once-in-a-lifetime events now coming with startling frequency. Long-term records confirm that intensity matters as much as averages, severity focus. In recent years, the strength of Superior's heat waves has not just matched, but often dwarfed those in comparable systems. Outlier behavior. The numbers are unequivocal. Superior's average heat wave intensity has more than tripled within the span of the current observational study. The 258% increase referenced by experts is no abstraction. It reshapes the lived experience on and around the lake. Lived impact. Extreme events beget extreme consequences. The lake's warming outpaces most of the world's other large freshwater bodies, placing it at the forefront of global concern. For local communities, these are not just scientific curiosities, but real disruptions that ripple into every facet of daily life. Where once the rhythms of the lake were reliable, a slow thaw, a predictable freeze, the new normal is a pattern of unpredictability, broken rhythms. Fishermen report unusual catches, both in timing and species, ecological shift. Families accustomed to skating on early winter ice must now wait, sometimes indefinitely, as ice cover forms later and melts earlier. Even the lake's famous fog, long a hallmark of Superior's mystique, is now influenced by greater moisture, its density and duration enhanced by the increased warmth below. Moisture amplification. And what of the weather? As local meteorologists warn expert caution, 
Warmer water heading into autumn and winter seasons primes the system for consequences both fierce and lingering. Lake effect snowstorms, once contained to familiar months and tracks, now strike unexpectedly and with greater force. The lakeshore environment is increasingly prone to rapid, violent swings, conditions that challenge infrastructure, tradition, and even the safety of those accustomed to the old seasonal script. Risk redefined. Such events once used as touchstones for generations, the coldest winter, the latest freeze, the most shocking storm, must now be redefined, historical reset. In a time when the thermal character of even the greatest lakes can shift so swiftly, how do communities recalibrate their sense of risk and stability? Is this the blueprint for extremes to come? Chapter 4 The Chemistry of Change Beyond Temperature Alone At first glance, the focus on temperature dominates headlines, surface narrative. It is easy to grasp, but the story beneath Superior's warming runs far deeper, etched into the lake's chemistry, its invisible cycles of oxygen and nutrients, and its biological web hidden dynamics. As the average water temperature climbs, even by fractions of a degree, incremental warming, unseen chemical processes accelerate. Warm water holds less dissolved oxygen, oxygen decline. Cold, dense waters once trapped at the lake's bottom are more likely to stagnate as vertical mixing slows under a new stratification pattern, stratification shift. For the deep basins of Lake Superior, this spells fundamental change, systemic alteration. More frequent or intense mixing events driven by warming and reduced ice, ice loss, can stir up bottom waters, redistributing nutrients and changing biological activity, nutrient redistribution. Large influxes of nutrients have the potential to trigger brief blooms of microbial or planktonic life. If oxygen diminishes in the deeper layers, certain sensitive fish and invertebrate populations may be threatened, and cycles that once ensured the lake's famous clarity and chemical steadiness may falter. Fisheries experts track the downstream impacts, ecological monitoring. Certain fish, evolved to thrive in the oxygen-rich, cold conditions for which Superior is famous, may shift their ranges toward shallower shelves or display stress in rapidly warming patches. Some species retreat from zones where low oxygen water, exacerbated by warming and nutrient imbalance, creates temporary but concerning dead zones, localized hypoxia. Microbial and plankton communities, at the very foundation of the lake's food chains, are especially sensitive, base level sensitivity. With each heat wave and stratification event, previously rare or dormant species can surge in abundance. The biological turbulence mirrors the physical instability at larger scales. It is in these microscopic changes, often invisible to the casual observer, that the lake reveals its greatest vulnerability. Superior's resilience has always depended on its cold, stable chemistry. Now, every increment of warming, every disruption from the depths, risks setting off a domino chain of impacts whose outcomes defy easy prediction. And still, questions mount. How far can these cycles be pushed before reaching recovery's edge? When even the deep chemical reserves of Superior can be shifted in a single warm season, is any balance truly secure? Chapter 5 Ripples Through the Great Lakes Superior as Harbinger Lake Superior's role as an early warning signal extends far beyond surface warmth alone sentinel role. As its thermal profile shifts, the lake begins to influence atmospheric circulation across the entire Great Lakes Basin, basin-scale coupling. Warmer surface waters release more heat and moisture into the air, subtly altering pressure gradients that guide storm tracks, energy transfer. Over time, this changes not just where storms form, but how long they persist and how intense they become. Storm amplification. What was once a localized anomaly now feeds into a broader regional feedback loop, positive feedback. Lake Superior's story does not unfold in isolation. System interdependence. Scientists at the NOAA Great Lakes Environmental Research Laboratory, including Dr. Andrew J. Gronewald, emphasize that changes detected first in Superior often foreshadow broader transformations across the entire Great Lakes system. Leading indicator. As Superior warms, wind patterns, cloud formation and precipitation shift throughout the basin. Atmospheric reorganization. Water temperature now rivals large-scale atmospheric drivers in seasonal forecasting, reshaping how weather and climate risks are assessed. For communities and policymakers, long-standing assumptions about ice cover, infrastructure planning, and fisheries management are becoming unreliable. Planning disruption. 
Superior is acting as an early warning signal. What happens here may soon follow elsewhere. Researchers have observed that these changes ripple outward, affecting neighboring lakes in uneven but interconnected ways. Asymmetric response. Lakes Michigan and Huron, hydraulically linked to Superior, are increasingly exposed to downstream effects, warmer inflows, altered circulation patterns, and modified ice dynamics. Even Lake Erie, far shallower and historically more variable, shows signs that its seasonal extremes are being amplified by upstream thermal shifts rather than driven by local conditions alone, upstream forcing. This cascading influence complicates forecasting. Traditional models treated each lake as a semi-independent system, responding primarily to atmospheric forcing. That assumption is now under strain. Model breakdown. As Superior warms, it increasingly behaves as an active climate driver rather than a passive responder injecting energy into the regional system and blurring the line between cause and effect, role reversal. In practical terms, this means that accurate forecasts now depend on understanding lake-lake interactions as much as lake atmosphere ones. The implications for infrastructure and policy are profound. Risk escalation. Ports designed around predictable ice seasons face growing uncertainty. Coastal erosion accelerates as longer ice-free periods expose shorelines to winter wave action. Municipal water systems must contend with changing chemistry and temperature profiles that affect treatment processes. Fisheries management, long grounded in historical baselines, is forced to adapt to shifting habitats and altered spawning cycles. Chapter 6 A restless future, watching the lake, waiting for the next turn. As forecasts for the coming winters loom, the eyes of the scientific world remain locked on Lake Superior. The numbers are projected, the models recalibrated, but the work of understanding has only grown more urgent in the face of accelerating change. Sensors continue to populate the lake, their readings beaming back a steady stream of data, surface bursts of unseasonable warmth, deeper pockets of chemical flux, and a mounting catalog of physical and biological responses. Every anomaly is scrutinized, compared to decades of archives and new real-time feeds from the other Great Lakes. Onshore, communities oscillate between adaptation and apprehension. Fishermen and farmers look to the skies and the shifting water, pondering how coming seasons will test their practices. Meteorologists warn of more dramatic snows and ice storms, rooted in the altered thermal engine below. For those who have spent lifetimes learning the lake's moods, mapping its channels, reading its weather, harvesting its seasons, each new record broken carries the weight of memory and loss. But it is under the surface, in that restless region between the warming skin and the cold of the depths, where the future seems most unresolved. The recent events have laid bare a paradox. Lake Superior, seemingly boundless and immutable, is now revealed as exquisitely sensitive, a body where global forces converge and play out in distressingly local terms. Each cycle of warming and stratification bears the potential to amplify biological and chemical shifts, challenging assumptions about how quickly such a vast lake can change. Researchers race to determine which impacts might recede with cooler seasons, and which could represent the first steps down entirely new pathways. It is this uncertainty that now defines both the scientific quest and the public's fascination. Lake Superior, storied in song and memory as a place of stability and grandeur, has become an epicenter of planetary change, a mirror that reflects not just rising temperatures, but the complexity and vulnerability of natural systems under stress. As the seasons turn and the lake responds, researchers brace for what the next phase may bring. More records will fall, more surprises will surface, called forth by the twin forces of local variability and global pressure. The quiet story begun in shifting data has crescendoed, through shock and discovery, into a narrative of warning and wonder. And so the lake waits, and so do we. The sensors remain fixed, the experts vigilant, the communities alert for the next sign. For as Lake Superior continues to heat, what emerges from below will not merely challenge assumptions. It will shape our understanding of the changing world itself, reminding us that even the coldest depths can be stirred, and that no lake, however old or vast, is beyond the reach of planetary upheaval.